hello friends welcome to my channel again and today we are going to see how to put the distal femur traction pin normally we use it in uh, shaft femur fractures the subtrochanteric fractures or the acetabulum fractures and what is the ideal position of the distal femur traction pin it is just proximal to the adductor buccal right here this is the position of the pin and we put it from medial to lateral direction because the neurovascular structures are medial so we have to put, put it in medial to lateral direction but in tibia we put it in lateral to medial direction so this is how we put it first i have given the local anesthetic on both the medial and lateral side the proposed sides where from where my pin is going to go in and from where my pin is going to get out and the starting point is just proximal to the superior pole of the petra right here and i have elevated the right limb in which i am going to put the pin with two pillows so that the other side the left leg doesn't interfere with it now as you can see I mark the superior pole of atla and I am palpating the posterior, posterior medial border of the femur right here. Now I am going to give a stab incision. Don't go too much inside, just inside the skin. And then take the Steenman pin, go inside, palpate the anterior and posterior border of the femur with the Steenman pin and palpate the supracondylar flare of the femur and that's where the adductor tubercle is and then insert the pin you can do it either manual with the hand drill or a electronic drill make sure that your hand is the pin is perpendicular to the long axis of the leg and it is parallel to the floor so this is how the pin is put and then the drill is removed and the traction is applied to the pin i hope you like this video and like subscribe and share and see you in next video thank you